morning YouTube. It is a beautiful morning. And I'm not exactly a morning person, but I thought I would go for a ride and maybe knock a couple of vids over. Here's my beautiful bike waiting for me. Oh, look at that. The key is already in the ignition. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey YouTube, it's Blinky Cab. I've just uh, come off the freeway and pulled over just to check something on my camera. Now I'm going to do a U-turn. Actually, I really want to do a video on how to do a U-turn. Look at that U-turn. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of my U-turn skills. I mean, I can't really... I don't know. I'll have to explain it. I'll, I, we'll have to actually get someone to film me, like a third person to film me, so you can actually see the position I, like the maneuver that I do, to really show you. It's a bit, probably a little bit too difficult to show you how to do a U-turn when I'm on the actual bike. Um, yeah. So I've just come off the freeway which means that my bike is at optimal operating temperature and <laughs> I find that my Ninja never rides any better than when it's like straight after riding on the freeway for about 10 minutes. It's just so responsive. You know, like, I don't know what it is. It's just awesome. Do you guys find that? You ride your bike on the freeway for a while and when you when you get back onto the streets, it, it's just so smooth. The engine's warm, it's primed and ready. Uh, what to vlog about, what to vlog. Okay, so here's a topic that a lot of people have been asking me about for a long time, so it's well overdue. Um, okay, a lot of my viewers don't have motorcycles yet. And they're looking at buying one. And those same viewers are of the younger generation and they still live at home with their parents and whatnot. So they say, hey Blinky, how can I convince my parents to let me buy a motorcycle? And the honest, truthful opinion is you kind of can't. I mean, if your parents are going to say no, they, they're going to say no. You're going to either have to just wait until you're of age where you can do what you want to do or go and do it behind their back and run the risk of, you know, getting in trouble and causing problems. But you have to kind of take a step back and think, why don't my parents want me to get a motorcycle? Because you, you can't just jump off the gun and say, oh, my parents are freaking assholes, man. They don't want me to get a bike, you know. Who do they think they are? I hate them. I can't wait to move out. <laughs> I can't wait till I'm old enough to leave this damn country. Most of the time, your parents love you, right? And with, with them being older, they've, they've seen a few more years than you have, and... They've probably heard a few more stories about motorcycles and perhaps even seen a few accidents firsthand. Perhaps they've been in motorcycle accidents themselves. So they understand the dangers better than you maybe. Um, so they just want to kind of say, look, I don't want you to get a bike now. Like, we don't want you to get hurt. Because it is true. They're very dangerous. You know, they're very fun. Woohoo! But they're also very dangerous in the fact that I could be the safest motorcycle rider in the world and it's not going to be my fault that I'm going to have a crash. It's going to be someone else. I'm pretty sure I explain this in my safe riding tips, but that's what it's going to be. No matter how safe you are, you're still always going to be at risk. And that's what your parents understand. 
and you say, oh, I just want to get a 250 or a 125, you know, they don't even go fast, or, oh, I only want to get it to ride to school, you know, it's not that far. I mean, these things don't matter. Whether you've got a fast bike or a slow bike, if a car hits you, look at this old school thing. Is that a Rolls Royce? Um, if, if a car hits you, you're going to be in trouble. And whether you're riding halfway across the world or just to school, there's still the opportunity for a car to hit you. There's still an opportunity for you to get hurt. So, I mean, that's why your parents don't want you to get a bike, because they love you. Uh, the best way to maybe combat this is to say... Jeez. <clears throat> I'm not sure, really. You just say, please, 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 freaking please. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I suppose you can just try and assure them that, I mean, it depends where you are in your life. I mean, if you have a car license and a, and a car and you drive around every day and, and you want to get a bike and they're like, nah, just keep the car. We don't want you to get a bike. Then you can probably try and try and say, well, look, you know, I've been driving around for a while. I, I understand how the road works a, a little bit. You know. I promise to be safe. Oh, look at the cute little puppies. <laughs> um, or, I mean, if you're still young where you haven't even got your car license yet um, and you want to go straight to a bike and they're saying no, well, I don't know. This reminds me, this, this road I'm on here reminds me of Gran Turismo 1. Um, oh, it's like my favourite track, I can't remember what it's called. But, oh, if you play Gran Turismo, you probably know what I'm talking about. You know that bit where you fly down the straight, and at the end there's that big hook turn, and it has all the forestry? Oh, what is it? I can't remember. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, so pretty much, look, if your parents really don't want you to get a bike and they're not going to budge, then yeah, you're going to find it very, very difficult to try to change their mind. You're just going to have to wait till you're a little older or maybe you can go buy a baseball bat and just make it look like an accident. I'm not really sure. It's up to you. To, um, if your parents are, you know, persuadable, then yeah, just say, please, please, please. Show them my safe riding tips video. Uh, explain to them that you, you're going to be safe. I don't know. Ex explain to them that you understand it's dangerous. Don't say, no, it's not dangerous, it's not dangerous, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, because then they think that you're just naive. Okay, so you have to show to them that you understand that it's dangerous. That way they think, okay, you know, they're sensible, maybe we should change our mind, maybe we should let them get a bite. Him or her. <laughs> I don't want to be sexist here. Girls ride too, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so... I mean, it's probably not the best advice, but this is, yeah, that's basically the truth of it all. But don't be upset, because if you are 16 years, 17, 18 years old, you know, just just wait. I mean, if your parents are that hard-out hard bent on you not having a bike, just, just wait a couple years. You're only young. <laughs> you know, I mean... If you have to wait two, three more years or, or something, I mean, that's not so bad. Because you're still going to be very young. I mean, look at me. I only got a bike when I was, what, 23? 23 years old and I got my first motorcycle. So, I know it's hard when you watch all these YouTube videos and you see all these cool bikes and all you think about is, God, I just want a bike so bad. R6, I believe. Uh, yeah, I understand completely. When you sometimes you want something, you fixate on it, you obsess about it. It's it like consumes you. That's all you want. But you know, patience is a virtue. Good things come to those who wait. All these sayings are actually really true. 